Today, I'm pleased to show you this, the brand new OM system, OM1 Mark II. This camera marks a new era for OM, as it's their first flagship camera carrying the OM system name. And as you've come to expect, it packs some pretty tasty features in a small and lightweight body. Weighing in a respectable 511 grams, and with a look not dissimilar to the much-loved Mark I, the OM-1 Mark II houses a 4 thirds 20.4 megapixel stacked, backside illuminated live MOS sensor that's partnered with the TruePic X digital quad-core processor. The sensor is formed of a quad Bayer pattern, which in simple terms means the filter's colourful mosaic of red, green and blue that covers the sensor has four sub-pixels located underneath each of those primary colours. Those additional sub-pixels have an independent readout, enabling cross-type phase detection across the whole imaging area. Focusing on the Mark II feels quick and responsive thanks to the 1053 cross-type phase detection points, along with OM's AI subject detection, which sees an improvement over the predecessor. The usual cars, motorcycles, planes, trains and animals are all available, but we see an upgrade to the performance of the human face and eye detection, along with birds too. This became really apparent when focusing on the robin, hidden amongst the trees and bushes, where the Mark II detected and locked on with ease. Being tailored strongly towards wildlife photography, the OM-1 Mark II can continuously capture images up to 120 frames per second when using single autofocus, or up to 50 frames per second when using continuous. The buffer has also been improved to allow for up to 213 raw images to be captured when shooting at 120 frames per second, giving you plenty of stills to choose from when your subjects are moving throughout your frame. If those 20 megapixels aren't quite enough and you wish to capture your subjects in more detail, you can take advantage of the OM-1's high res mode, which is capable of capturing 50 megapixel stills handheld or 80 megapixels when using a tripod. The processing time in both modes is quick to merge the multiple stills together and create that higher resolution image, which is ideal for landscape and architectural photographers. You can also save these in a 14-bit RAW, giving you three times the amount of tones compared to before. We still also find the fan favourites with live composite, HDR shooting, pro capture, live ND which now goes up to an ND128, and allows you to slow down your shutter speed even further, along with a new live grad ND feature. You can now use the same ND filter technology, but selectively darken areas of your image by simply dragging your finger across the screen, making it perfect for any landscape shooters looking to drop the exposure of their skies. Now, although not primarily a macro lens, I can use the 12 to 40 mil thanks to the OM-1's focus stacking mode. When active, the camera captures up to 15 individual images at different focal positions, letting you now capture the smaller world in more detail. Here you can see both my start and end images, showing the range of those separate photos, and once processed now all internally, the end result combines them all together, resulting in one overall image with a brilliant depth of field. Holding a camera steady when using larger telephoto lenses, handheld walking while shooting video, or on days like today where the temperature is a, a little bit chillier than you would desire, 
You can rest assured that the Mark II will capture clean and crisp images thanks to the eight and a half stops of in-body image stabilization. My current setup on the OM1 Mark II is the new 150 to 600 mm that I've coupled with an MC14 teleconverter. Now in 35 mm equivalent, that would work out to be around 1680 mm, which I'm able to shoot with handheld. The best way I can show you this is to give you the feed from my viewfinder. This is handheld at that 1680 mm focal length and as I hold the shutter button down halfway, you can see the stabilization kick into action and pretty much wipes out any shake or wobble. Video shooters and content creators, OM have definitely not left you out, as the Mark II still packs some powerful features, ideal for supporting your creative recordings. Starting us off, we have 4K up to 60p from an oversampled 5K image with no cropping, resulting in smooth, highly detailed footage. By stepping down to full HD, you can shoot slow motion content at a maximum of 240 frames per second, perfect for those faster moving subjects. You can shoot in one of OM's many different picture modes to bring a little more creativity to your footage or you can select from a flat profile, HLG or OM Log 400 for a greater level of post-production when editing your highlights, shadows and colour grading. There is also the option to attach an external recorder and output a raw format via the HDMI port located on the side. For a camera designed to be taken out into the elements, we once again find some of the best weather sealing I've come across from an interchangeable lens system. With an IP53 rating, you can comfortably continue shooting knowing that your kit is safe from the likes of dust, dirt, grit, and even water. Being able to empty a bottle of water over a camera is something that I'll never get over. I would obviously never suggest doing this with your own kit, but it does go to show how well OM Systems weather sealings are. They are actually one of the few manufacturers who give an official IP rating, whereas many others will just leave it, saying that their kit is weather sealed or resistant. It is worth checking any pre-existing or new kit that you buy to make sure that it's compatible with that IP53 rating, but if you're using the Pro lenses, these should be all okay. OM has also got you covered when you wish to change your lens out in the field and you may be worried about dust or dirt that could potentially get onto your sensor. But with the supersonic wave filter that vibrates at approximately 30,000 times a second, this helps to budge anything that could have settled on your sensor's surface, keeping your images free from any unwanted marks or spots. With its similar look and style to the Mark I, the new OM1 Mark II carries the OM system name across the front and sits comfortably in your hands. OM have listened to feedback from their users and have improved the dials by rubberizing them with a tactile feeling, making them far easier to operate, especially when using gloves or if your fingers are a little chilly. Another subtle but nice improvement allows you to set the delete button on the back to become another menu selection option meaning you can access the menu with your right hand unlike before, which is really helpful when shooting with longer telephoto lenses, where you don't wish to remove your left hand from holding it to press the normal menu button found at the top left on the back of the camera. You have the choice of shooting with either the 7.76 million dot OLED electronic viewfinder or a three inch very angled LCD monitor, which was bright and clear throughout my time using the camera. Powering the OM1 is the same BLX1 battery, which is rated up to 500 shots per charge. When using the Mark II for the day, I used far less power than I had expected, and I feel I could have easily continued into a second day of shooting. It's worth noting that the OM1 does not come with a battery charger, and uses the provided USB-C cable as its form of power supply. What's nice about this is that you can take a power bank out with you, and not only top up your battery levels, but also power the camera directly from a compatible bank whilst the camera is in use. 
OM system have once again introduced an ideal lightweight camera that's perfect for outdoor photography. The OM-1 Mark II can handle various environments, whether you're capturing landscapes, wildlife, adventure, or your travel experiences, thanks to its weather ceilings. This camera comes with impressive features, such as up to 80 megapixel stills when using the high-res mode, 4K 60p video recording, a fast and accurate AI subject detection, and an outstanding 8.5 stops of stabilization. Despite these powerful features, the OM-1 Mark II comes in a small and lightweight body, making it a powerhouse camera that's easy to carry around. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe, ring that bell to get notifications of all our latest content, and if you'd like any more information, please check out the link below or pop into your local London Camera Exchange.